Hello and welcome to the shop. I want to be right up front with you guys and let you know that this is not going to be a project video. I won't be doing any turning. I will talk a little bit about some possible future projects, but I just want to get that out of the way because I know some of you come to just watch the videos and I don't want you to waste your time. This is going to be a bit more of a talky video. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Midwest Ohio Valley Pin Turners Gathering. I spent the weekend up in Belpre, Ohio, and all I can say is if if you weren't able to make it, you missed an incredible show. And that's what this video is going to be about. Right off the bat, the most exciting thing about the show for me was I got a chance to take a personal class with Jim Hines and Jonathan Vest. And the class was kitless pen turning. And I'm telling you what, it was absolutely phenomenal. And right here is my first kitless pen. Take a look at this. It's turned from an Alumilite blank. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just I love it. I had a great time turning it. You can basically put a cartridge in the end of here for writing with, or you can simply fill the well with uh, ink and put a little bit of, there's a silicone grease that you put on the threads so that it won't leak. But this is what I did this weekend, and I can't tell you how exciting it was. I'm going to tell you something else. I, I started acquiring the tools to do this. Now, it's not inexpensive. I'll be honest with you, it's relatively expensive. So I've acquired a few of the tools. I'm going to take a little bit of time and acquire some more. It's going to take a bit of time. I, I may do a video or two on this, but I don't know that I'm going to focus a lot of time and attention on turning kitless pins. And the reason why is because of the expense. I, I just think it... It's out of the grasp of most turners. Most turners are going to stick with the, the kitted pins because I will do a video later on where, because I'm keeping track of everything I spend, what did it cost me to make one of these pins? And, and, and I'll show you the first one that I'm, or the first one I make in my shop and I'll give you an idea of the cost then. Right now I can't do that because I'm still researching and purchasing and I just don't have all that data together and it will probably be a while. But There'll be a little more on this. I just don't know how heavy I'll get on this on my channel. We'll see. If you guys twist my arm, maybe I'll do a little more. What you're seeing in front of you is what I acquired this weekend. A good amount of this I did purchase. Some of it was gifted to me and some of it I won as door prizes. So what I want to do is take a few minutes and go through everything on the table saw and I, I really what I want to do is give you the information about the vendors as well because the vendors that came to this gathering, they are there to strictly support people like us, turners. And that's why I want to give them all a shout out. So let's start and talk a little bit about what we got here. Over here on the corner of my saw, I've got some blanks and these came from Benny Ray Watkins Jr. and Julie McNeil. Now, I got a chance to meet them. I didn't get to spend as much time with them just talking and chatting as I would like to have because um, we had so many presentations going on and I had my class on pin turning that I didn't get the social time. I had a lot of social time, but not as much as I would have liked. They were pretty awesome people and I really enjoyed what little time I got to spend with them. And, and Benny told me, and it was, it was a great story, he told me that I was the first YouTube channel he ever subscribed to. And, you know, that's a pretty big compliment. I mean, I, 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 that, that's nice for me to hear that. It means a lot to me. And Benny gave me um, all of these blanks right here. He gave me blue mayo, some lignum vitae, uh, mango, camphor, Brazilian walnut, almond, and pheasant wood. And then I bought several sets of blanks from him. I bought some, uh, uh, I think it's pronounced Kappa, C-A-P-A -A Blanco. I got some, a couple of lignum vitae, I got some American chestnut, some Santa Maria, and some staghorn um, sumac. And I bought pairs because I'm thinking, you know, pen and pencil sets. So I'm looking forward, beautiful wood. This is just, just the tip of the iceberg for what these two people sell. And I'm going to put their, their contact information uh, in the comments below so that you can, you know, get in touch with them. They had some gorgeous 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 blanks bowl blanks just you know big big pieces of wood you got to check them out M amazing stuff next up what i've got back here is this is from p-town stubby and who this is this is fred wisson 
okay? And you've probably heard, if you're into casting at all, you've heard of Fred Wisson. And I got a couple of molds from Fred Wisson. These are for the Sierra. You know, they'll fit the Wall Street and the Monarch that I've been doing. The molds come with, with the plugs. And I got the Stoner uh, release. And I went ahead and bought this. One of the, I went up to the show primarily for two things. Number one, I was all about the kitless pins. And number two, I wanted to learn as much as I could about casting because I'm interested to get into it. I bought this. I intended to buy more, okay? I intended to buy a Lumalite and I intended to buy molds, you know, just so I could really get started. Well, what happened to me is um, I'm outside turning at my class and they're start drawing names for door prizes. And guess what I won? A Lumalite A and B. This is the slow, uh, slow gel, so it takes, you got a little more working time with it. And Signature Pin Pl uh, Supply donated this, and Signature Pin Supply is run by um, Angie and Jim Pratt. And this is, there it is, this is the Cast Right Casting System. I cannot believe I won this thing. This is everything you need. You basically mix up your Alumalite, you can pour it into these molds, and put it in a pressure pot. So guess who's in the market for a pressure pot? <laughs> and that is why I went up there. I wanted to go up there and learn about casting. And, and, and Jim put on one heck of a demo on casting. It was very, very well laid out. He explained everything in incredible detail. And he really talked about this system. So I feel very comfortable now doing some casting. So what you're gonna see from me is, uh, first off, I gotta get a pressure pot and I've got a buddy. Um, Michael DeLalter is going to help me out with that to make sure that I, when you buy the pressure pot, you got to modify it just a little bit. He's going to make sure I get the right stuff and get it modified. And then he and I are going to get together and he's going to work with me and we're going to basically cast. So I'm looking forward to making some more of those bottle cap blanks and who knows what else I'll come up with. I'm, I'm excited about this, but I can't believe it. This and this were door prizes and I was blown away. I mean, I can't believe it. So I'm so excited. Um, I got a t-shirt. Check this out. This is the logo for the uh, Mid-Ohio Valley Pin Turners Gathering. And it's a nice shirt, got a pocket on the front. I like the pockets. And on the back, it's got all the vendors and all the demonstrators. So I, I purchased this because I wanted a memento. Let's go around the table. What we've got here is, um, I'm gonna pause a second. I've gotta go get his name. I don't know where his card's at. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> got my information straight. All these blanks in this area, came from Andrew Whamtower. Andrew is known for making steampunk blanks and he had them there. They were gorgeous, incredible blanks. And uh, from what I understand, he sold out. So I hope that's, I hope I heard that right. But he had all of these, these are the uh, Spectraply blanks. He had these there, I got a great deal on these. They were a buck a piece. So I picked up a bunch of them. They're fun, they make great pens. I got a bunch in school colors. I picked up four of these. These are denim micarta blanks. Now look forward to these. They're gonna be fun turning. I got two of his carbon fiber cast blanks. I got two blanks. These are metallic and they've got like a copper cross in them. They're cool. I picked up a really wicked looking seam ripper blank. Loving that. So he's got some great stuff. His information will be below. Check him out. Luis Torres came to the show as a spectator just like me. He took Jim's class just like I did. We were into kind of the same stuff. He's already doing some casting. And check out these blanks. They're pretty wicked. He cast those and brought them to the show and gave them to me. We're going to get these babies turned up. They look amazing. Rick Trope over at Kudzu Creations gave me these. It's like a, a, um, like a beam in a house. You know how they laminate the beams together? And uh, I believe this is cross-cut uh, Coca Bolo, so that is that is awesome. I can't wait to turn those. Thank you so much, Rick. This next set of blanks came from Patterson Grant. Now he is famous for or well known for casting card blanks. He takes playing cards and he casts them into you know into Alumalite blanks. And he had some beautiful, beautiful. I didn't know. I mean, I'm used to the bicycle cards. You've got the red. You got the blue. That's what I'm used to. I had no idea there were so many gorgeous cards, and he just does tons and tons of castings. And I also picked up a couple of these thin blue line blanks. They are a black and white American flag with the thin blue line, and on the back they say, or on the opposite side, they say all gave some, some gave all. And I've got a couple of uh, police officer friends in mind that I think these are going to be a gift for. Tim Geist was there. Now Tim 
he does a lot of uh, machining work and he's amazing. He had some beautiful stuff. But what I bought from him was a dead center, number two Morse taper dead center, and some turn between center bushings. Yes, I'm going to give it a try. We're going to do a little turning between centers. I've had a lot of people bug me and tell me, you know, it's the only way to fly. And uh, Tim was there. He makes this stuff. I've also spoken with him about making me a four-inch tool rest and uh, gave him all my information. He's supposed to get back with me uh, and let me know, you know, I, I think it was some material he was worried about possibly not having, but he's supposed to get back with me. So hopefully I'll get a four-inch tool rest here before long. Right over here, I want to show you guys my name tag. Check that out. They made these, and they made them with um, rare earth magnets. I can't even hardly pull that apart so that we didn't have pins or anything. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. And there's the logo right on there. Of course, I've got my, my pin that I turn. Lay that out of the way. Jim Hines, when we got done turning the pins, I bought a set of his mandrels for, uh, for turning these kitless pins. And... Um, I'm missing one. He's making it for me. This is the one for the body and the one for the, and I forgot the, the proper term, the part you hold on to down there. I, I can't remember the name of it. And the cap mandrel, he's going to make and mail to me because he just didn't have any with him. He, he sells them individually or as a group, and I guess he probably just sold it. Right over here from Classic Nib, Niels and Debbie Matheson. I'm going to get their information out there for you. I got a whole bunch of Sierra blanks, and I'm going to need those if you look at this side of the table, <laughs> I, I was in desperate need of blanks. They got incredible prices, and uh, you know, th they run a really nice business. They have a cool website with a ton, a ton of stuff, everything the Turner needs. So check them out. Also, while it was gone, I received a couple of blanks here. Jacob Doan sent me a really nice note, and he cashed a couple of blanks for me and said, thank you for everything I've learned from you. He, he appreciates my videos, and he sent these to me. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that. And then Ralph Ross. This is a piece of spalted sycamore that Ralph sent me. So these two items were waiting in my P.O. box when I got back and picked them up, That went to the post office box today and picked them up. Gentlemen, thank you for those. So you can see that I had a great weekend, and I strongly urge you to go into the comments and check some of these folks out. Check their businesses out. They're, these are mom and pop shops. These are owned by owned by families, and, and they don't. They're not huge businesses, and they're here to serve us. So I'm excited. I, I'm going to try to do as much business with with this type of of company as I can. Also, and I'm going to I'm not going to go through it all in this video. You would not believe the number of blanks I have on my table back here. I need to say thank you. I have been overwhelmed. Um, I, I'd started turning blanks, and I was, I, I've been releasing a video, say, on Tuesday and Friday, where I'd been turning blanks that people send in. What has happened is I have been overwhelmed with blanks to the point where I, I ran out of kits. I have some kits now, but I'm way behind on turning blanks. I'm going to try really hard to turn at least one blank. A lot of people sent me you know, five, six, seven, ten blanks. I can't turn all those in videos. I'm gonna try really hard to get through these. It's gonna take me a while, so if you sent me a blank, you may have to wait a little bit, but I'm really gonna to try to do some videos on these blanks. I am a little bit worried, and I would like to hear what you guys think about this, that with me doing the turning on Tuesday and Friday, it might be getting a little boring because I'm just, I'm turning a pin. It is different materials, new materials, but. And I try to give different tips and stuff along the way, but I'm worried that it might be getting a little boring. I do have ideas, and, and I got some good ones this weekend, and I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming up here for additional videos that are going to get put in there with the mix. Um, but I don't want to run my audience off because I'm boring, you guys. So give me some feedback in the comments. Let me know what you think about you know the Tuesday, Friday videos where I'm turning pins that people have sent to me. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying that. If, if I have to, what I can do is maybe lighten up on the videos because a lot of the process is the same, the drilling and the, and the cutting and the gluing. I can maybe take some of that out and make shorter videos and put them out a little more frequently uh, if that would benefit you guys. But I, I want some feedback on that. I want to know what you guys think. Beyond that, um, what you can look for, obviously, is going to be a, a lot of pin videos. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take you guys along on the ride as I learn how to cast. Okay, so if you're interested in cast, I'm not going to be doing the label casting. I, that doesn't interest me. What I want to do is I want to take my bottle caps first off, and I want to cast them um, 
around blanks like Lynn Lacey and I did. And then I want to do some junk wood pens uh, because, you know, hybrid style pens. I've got all these blanks down here, the cutoffs, a lot of really cool ones. I'd like to put those in the pink molds I got from Fred and mold those. And I'm going to take you along on the ride. When I finally purchase my pot, I'll do a video where, okay, guys, here's my pressure pot. Here's the modification I'm going to make to it. I'll show you because I, I have trouble right now. I've been asking people, what do you do to the pot? Well, you do this, you do that. Nobody's really taking the time to explain it to me. My buddy is going to do that. I'm going to, he, we're going to go to his shop or he's going to come to mine, whichever, and he's going to take the time to teach me. And then I'm going to teach you. I'm going to take the pot as it is and I'm going to say, here's how it comes out of the box and here's what you do and I'm going to show you and I'm going to give you all the pricing so you know what it costs to get a pressure pot. Then I'm going to talk a little bit. I'll, I'll get the exact pricing on this stuff. You know, you, you may not need it all, but I'm going to try to give you the cost and then I'm going to show you the steps I go through. You're probably going to see me blow a bunch of molds right off, or a bunch of uh, blanks right off the bat with bubbles or whatever because I'm new to this. But we're going to learn together. So if you happen to be interested in doing a little bit of casting, when we get through this, you'll be able to repeat what I did and you'll know what it's going to cost you to get set up so you can plan a little better than I did. Me, I just kind of jumped in like I always do and, you know, <laughs> you know, you're throwing money out like crazy, right? <laughs> but uh, we're going to work on that together. Um, I plan to do a lot of work on these kitless pins, but I'm not sure how to handle that in this video or on this channel. So we'll talk about that. Thank you for uh, listening to me ramble. I mean, I'm so excited and there's so many things going on in my mind and I got so many notes in my book about what I want to do. Uh, it's, it's just been an incredible weekend and I need to, I need some downtime just to absorb it all. Before I go, I want to say just a couple of more things about this, this show I went to. It's going to happen again next year, right around this time of the year. Uh, so be looking for it. First of September. All I can do is, is say one man, Jason Rose, he put this thing together without him. It would not have been possible. Now there were others that were involved but he was the force that drove it and made it happen. I don't know if I've ever been to a first year of anything that was this successful. They had a great place. They had awesome vendors. They had incredible demonstrators, one right after another. They had a professional photographer there videotaping all the presentations. He had a camera set on the presenter and he had a second camera. He's going around getting close-ups, zooming in, had a wireless mic so we're going to get great sound. We're going to have a video before long that's a DVD sent to us uh, of all the presenters so that we can go back and review. I, I can't tell you how much, I have no idea what he put into this, but I know he put his heart and soul into it. And for that, Jason, I want to say thank you and Semper Fi, buddy. Next up, I want to thank the vendors. They were incredible. They were there. They were sharing information. They were talking about products. A lot of them had some show specials. They were great. The people who presented, thank you, thank you, thank you. What you did is fill my head with so much information. You've got my, it's just spinning. And I've got so many incredible ideas and I know how to do things now, or at least I feel more comfortable about them. And it's all because of your hard work. Jim Hines and Jonathan Vest, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the time you spent with me teaching me about these kitless pins. It, magnificent, incredible, and the follow-up. I, I mean, I've been talking to them today back and forth a little bit on Facebook and email helping me. Jim is, and, and Jonathan both have been helping find parts. They got me into a group buy where I can save a little money on some of the parts. And, and that is much appreciated. So thank you. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that came out to the show. The spectators, th the atmosphere in this place was so positive and so powerful. And everybody was just in a great mood. And everybody was having a great time. And there, you just, you, you couldn't turn around without meeting somebody so cool and so interesting. And the stories, it just, you guys, I don't want to rub it in, but you really missed a show. This was awesome. I will be back next year. Guaranteed, I'm going. I need to wind it up. I've talked way too long. You can tell <laughs> I'm excited. I do have one last thing I want to say. While I was there, I met a young Turner. Her name was Lexi. She was 12 years old. 
Her uncle watches my videos and she went over to his house and watched a couple of them and now she watches them all. And she started turning and she turned her first pin. Now I'm not giving a last name for privacy reasons, but Lexi, I just want you to know I'm proud of you. I want you to keep turning and I need your uncle to contact me and send me his address because I'd like to send you just a little care package in the mail. Um, so you call him now and you tell him to get a hold of me. And uncle, I need you to do one thing for me. Last time I did something like this, I got a couple people trying to scam me, okay? Uh, giving me fake, you know, their addresses, trying to get something. What I want you to do is I gave Lexi something at the show. I just want you in your note when you send me your address. Don't send me hers. I don't want people to think anything weird's going on. I want it to come to you at your house. But send me an email. Put in there what I gave Lexi. I'll know it's you. I'll know the address is legit. And I just got a little care package I want to send her just to encourage her and keep her turning. Everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is probably boring as heck to all of you. But to me, it is like, boom, exciting and Thanks for hanging out with me. I want you all to know you're always welcome in my shop. Get ready for some exciting projects and a ton of videos. I'll see you real soon. Have a great evening. Take care, everybody.